Hi, I bring you greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not get involved in the issue of insulting, castigating, maligning, and using social media and all kinds of platforms to malign, to say all kinds of evil about men of God. Let him ask you, who is a man of God? How would you know whether this person is a man of God or not? How would you know? So don't get involved in that. Because the person you are insulting may be genuine and you may never know. You know, the recent issue of um, Pastor Kelvin and the Zoe Outreach Embassy, issues of Prophet Ousu Bin Pai and all of them. Please do not get involved in those things. Leave the matter to God to handle. Don't get involved in those things. Leave the matter to God. If they, had, if they have done something, you are not the one to judge them. I'm not saying you shouldn't criticize. No. I'm not saying that. But, you know, the whole issue is about how people just take advantage and insult men of God. They just insult them. And Satan uses the occasion. He uses his agents and takes advantage of the situation and begins to insult left, right, center. Don't join them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Look, some of them have very good reason and they are proved of God. You may never know. Jesus went to the temple and shipped them. He used Cain and shipped the people. He came them. If it was today, what would happen? On the television screen, on the radio, a man of God goes mad in the temple. He takes out Cain and canes everybody and beats them up. This is madness. That is what they will say. And yet, Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. So when you talk about being gentle and the fruit of the Spirit, how do you understand it? So we need to be very careful and exercise circumspection. Don't join them to condemn them. Pray for them. There was this man of God in Ghana several years ago. Very popular. A big person in Christianity who divorced the wife. And then people were condemning him here and there. And then I, I had a revelation about him. When I saw that this man was sweating. He was really sweating. And he wore only black trousers. The top had no, from the, I mean, there was no um, clothing on top of him. And I saw him trying to lift up this woman. He tried the first time. He brought her up and the lady just wanted to go down. The lady did everything and then this man would try, lift her up again. The lady would do everything and go down. The man did everything he could to lift her up. Eventually, the man just gave up on her because this lady wasn't ready to be lifted. When God revealed that revelation to me, I closed my mouth. Please be very careful. You don't know what is happening and what the reason was. Remember what Jesus did in the temple. If it were today, I mean, today, Many of us, maybe including myself or yourself, will condemn him that he is not from God. And yet, Jesus 
was full of the Holy Ghost, and yet he took Cain and shipped the people in the temple. Be careful whom you condemn. They may be true men and anointed men of God, and you'll be standing in danger You'll be standing in danger of having serious problems spiritually. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. God bless you. Your brother Collins.